This is a download from BFM 89.9, the business station. Good afternoon. This is Frida Liu, it's Resource Center. Uh, today's guest has been here before. He's Steve Miller, the Executive VP, Head of Group Finance Banking for Alliance Bank. Today we're talking about the SME Innovation Challenge. Uh, but before that, uh, just welcome again, Steve, and congratulations on winning the best SME bank in Asia Pacific Gulf region in Africa. I've got to say it in full. Uh, this was an award by Asian Banker, and it's the first Malaysian bank to win this. So, um, you know, what do you think Alliance Bank has been doing differently uh, to win? this award? Uh, well, first of all, thank you very much. Um, you know, the bank's uh, very, very proud of winning this award. And it's not just an SME award specifically, because it's something that the whole bank contributes to. Um, if I look back, and, and when you talk to the, the um, judges on the panel, you know, we run a very deep relationship-based business for our SME sector. Um, and they felt that we proved to do that better than most um, out of all the submissions. And in addition to that, we had a couple unique product innovations last year that really touched on the, the specifics of, of what SMEs are really looking for. And one of those was in regards to our um, internet platform upgrade, mm -hmm. where we really, really wanted to focus on the sole proprietors, the small, small SMEs that make up you know 95% of the business uh, businesses in Malaysia. And the idea was that most sole props are given the consumer internet platform. So we decided to say, look, let's give big business tools to all the small businesses. And that was a first of its kind in Malaysia. And that really kind of opened the door for a lot of the things that you're seeing, including what we're talking about today for mm. the, the Innovation Awards. Okay, and I know that uh, when you talk to SMEs, you were addressing some of these needs, you know, the, the pains and aches, and by offering this tool to these uh, smaller uh, players. Um, how do you think that has helped them in their business, you know, with, with these tools? Well, I think if you talk to most SMEs, uh, the common thing we've heard over the last couple of years is three things. One is talent. I think every every business is, is really focused on kind of the war for talent. And that, you know, it doesn't matter if you're running a very sophisticated business where you need certain degrees, um, you know, uh, a certain skill set, or if you just need raw labor, um, mm -hmm. that's an issue in Malaysia amongst all businesses. Uh, marketing is another thing where most small business owners don't have the skill set or the time or money to do true marketing and get their brand up. That usually comes later in the process. And then obviously funding, which is um, uh, where the banks can step in the easiest. Um, I think on some of the things that we touched on last year, the, the internet was really more of a process um, improvement for businesses that we can do things online, uh, their payments, we can do their payments faster, it's cheaper for us, so we don't charge them the, the same fee structures if you do a manual uh, you know, transfer funds and things like that. So that saves them time and money, um, and it's all online so they can be mobile, and a lot of businesses now are mobile. Um, the other product that we came out with uh, last year that was a big key part of us winning the award was on our business platinum credit card, we decided that um, we wanted to give the face of the card to the business mm -hmm. owners themselves. We said, look, my brand's all over the place. Everyone kind of knows who Alliance Bank is, hopefully. <laughs> um, and we said, look, give them the face of the card. So if you look at our, our business platinum credit card, um, there's no Alliance Bank on it. Um, what we do is we say, look, if you want to put your signboard on it, your logo, your product, if wow. you make something, put that on there. So that's their billboard. So every time they use the card, they get to show that you know, um, and kind of display that for everyone to see. It's a good conversation point, and it's cheap marketing. Right. Um, and, you know, you the have to turn the card over to see Alliance Bank, but okay. I'm, I know it's Alliance. When they use it, then we, you know, we're fine. So. Right. So it's not even in the front, a little logo on the front. No, there's no oh. Alliance. It literally says My Business Card, because that's the name of the product from our side. It says My Business Card, and then their logo or whatever picture they want is on there for the full face of the card. It's the it's little things, right? Yeah, little things like that. Okay, and you know when you, you talk about um, working with the sales relationship managers, so they're the ones that are you know, face to face with these SMEs. How are you working with them differently um, with, with these SMEs? I think that's the, I mean, the most important relationship is that the local manager and there are relationship managers and that engagement with the customers. So one of the things we try to do is empower them um, from, you know, from all the processes we have, whether it's applying for a loan, opening an account, um, or just doing general day-to-day -day service. Um, so we give our managers and frontline staff a lot of empowerment. If we make a mistake with a customer, um, or if there's a, a fee that's been charged that we can waive quickly, I don't want them to have to come ask me for permission because that might take a couple of days. We mm. want to be able to respond quickly to the customer 
make a decision on the spot, fix the situation, and move on. And I think that you know when when you can give a quick response to a customer we like to call it kind of the moment of truth mm -hmm. so if you make a mistake but you respond quickly sometimes that actually allows you to gain a lot of goodwill from the customer right. because a lot of times when service mistakes happen that's when yeah. people start you know pushing tai away and tai chi tai chi <laughs> and they say hey that's not my fault so we just take ownership of it and then move on so. okay so and and so you you talk about these three things talent marketing and funding and you've done a couple of things and one of which is the innovation challenge to address some of these mm -hmm. issues what are the air what are the other things that you're doing uh, for these SMEs as well, well I think if you look at the I mean under the, our biz smart proposition you know I talked earlier about the the online offering mm -hmm. um, which helps them kind of run their business more efficiently the other thing is the biz smart Academy and this is an idea where we have a, a new um, internet portal where people can go is almost like a resource center um, and, and really get access to kind of the top of mind thought leadership amongst SMEs, whether it's local in Malaysia, ASEAN, or even some things from around the world that we think would be applicable to our customers. So they can go t go there um, and has, have access to the inf information and we'll, you know, we'll refresh that on a constant basis. The other part of the academy is more face-to-face -face where, in fact, today um, in KL and tomorrow down in uh, JB, we're engaging with our customers on a trade seminar. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing in a third-party expert who is, you know, he's the, he's the, the master of all things trade-related when it comes to documents and, and the different changes in the rules um, for how customers can engage in global trade. Um, and we give that free of charge to our customers. And they don't, you know, the owners don't go to those meetings. They send kind of their staff that's in charge of, you know, doing their documentation for trade. So we're seen as the bank that can that can really give that additional education, um, engage different people within the company, and that helps the overall relationship as right. well. Right. So I guess in that process, when they learn that new thing as well, it just makes the work with you, the bank, a lot easier down the road as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it helps us because, you know, we want to make sure that, when, s when a customer calls us, that if they're knowledgeable of how documents work, that actually helps the transaction um, so that their process can go through quicker with us and we can turn things around faster. So, yeah. All right. And of course, the big thing is funding, and that's where the SME Innovation Challenge comes in. And we'll discuss that uh, right after this. I'm here with Steve Miller from Alliance Bank, BFM 89.9. Break from mediocrity, BFM. 89.9. It's a resource center. Good afternoon. This is Frida Liu and uh, maybe an opportunity to break from monotony. Uh, we're talking about the SME Innovation Challenge that's being uh, uh, organized by Alliance Bank. Steve Miller here. And, uh, you know, this is something that's the first time for the Alliance Bank. Now, why did uh, Alliance Bank decide to do this uh, competition contest? I think it goes back to um, the the overall biz smart proposition we wanted to be seen you know sometimes as a bank uh, you're seen as uh, only giving banking uh, products uh, doing transactions maybe giving a loan um, and those things are actually quite mm. easy for us to do that's our main core business uh, but we wanted to f figure out how we could separate ourselves from the competition in the market and really address some of those key concerns so you see that through the academy and i think the innovation challenge is another way um, we look at a lot of the the newer businesses that are coming out so your gen y business basically you know these are people who've grown up on different technology platforms and their parents and you're seeing a big shift from kind of existing smes giving it to the second generation and they're going to run business slightly differently I mean, mm. it happens every generation mm. um, but the other challenge we have is that for new setups um, traditionally banks can't fund new setups i mean you look on Bank Nagar website, it's usually two years in business before anyone would think of qualifying you for a loan. Um, so if you look at who we're aimed at, we really want to go after the companies who have established themselves for one to three years and they're, and they're ready for that next big step. Mm -hmm. So do they have an idea that they think can take their business from startup to kind of really starting to mature? And, and then the, the innovation challenge addresses that, helps the participants kind of develop those ideas, and then there's one winner and they'll get funding to really push that idea. Right, and I know the of the funding is two hundred fifty thousand ringgit, which is you know, uh, kind of big. Um, how uh, the closing date is September eighteenth, and how's the response been so far? Um, so far, so good. We're really happy. You know, we we're really pushing this in a different angle than we traditionally do. I mean, we we have done some of uh, above line advertising in some of the local papers. Obviously, you know, we're here today talking on the radio, but. 
the big push has been through social media with our with our website. Um, we had a really creative video that we launched um, that's uh, approaching a couple hundred thousand hits on YouTube, mm-hmm. um, and, and it really shows that the whole purpose of this contest, which is you know kind of taking traditional SME banking and, and what what it's going to look like you know uh, over the next you know ten to twenty years with with new technologies. So. Um, so that response has been great. Um, another week and a half to go for submissions. Uh, but, yeah, we feel quite positive, and especially the, the variety of the companies that mm. are applying, which is most exciting for us. So. Okay, so what's the mechanics? I mean, do they just fill up a form? What do they do? Yeah, it's pretty basic. I mean, it's we didn't want to make it uh, too difficult. I think the, the, the basic premise is to get them to give us some uh, – High level, high level information about the company, some some small financials, but financials don't matter much because mm-hmm. they're only there one to three years, anyways. And then it's more their the strategy of their business and 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 really what they're trying to focus on in terms of you know their next big step or their, that next idea that they want to implement. We will shortlist the people that um, apply by next Wednesday, mm-hmm. and then uh, then our uh, distinguished uh, panel of judges will choose uh, twelve people, and we'll announce those twelve people. And then those 12 people will go through about a two-month program, and then at the end of it, we'll choose the winners. So right. And th- what happens in this uh, uh, two-month program? What do they learn? I think uh, one of the things that we really wanted to do was, you know, we consider, although there's one winner of the 250,000, um, the 12 people that are considered the finalists, um, you know, they're going to go through a Blue Ocean Strategy training um, with one of the partners, uh, Leaderomics, um, and really go through some intensive training um, about strategy and, and how to develop their ideas um, in, a, in a very organized fashion. Um, they're not going to be in class for two months because you're a <laughs> business owner. You can't do that. So they'll spend, you know, a day with us, and then we want them to kind of, um, you know, the, the people who are running the program will want them to implement things over the week and then come back. They'll have engagement with some of our uh, panel of judges. Obviously, we have our chairman, is Tansri Lu from SB Setia. So they'll get to have some opportunities to, to you know to ask some questions of some very successful business people themselves. and i know we'll get a sneak preview of all these 12 as well uh, yes. uh, on bfm so yeah. i'm kind of excited to yeah. see who these people are and you know it's two hundred fifty thousand ringgit are you just gonna give them the money no i think <laughs> um yeah i mean it's it's a it's guaranteed can bfm is participate <laughs> <laughs> but what we're really looking to do is you know we want to we don't consider this uh, a program where we just want to, you know, have the 12 people announce the winner and be done with it. Um, mm-hmm. We really want to kind of follow these people through the process. So part of the excitement is that of once the 12 people come on, you know, you'll be able to watch them online through our Internet site. And we're going to have blogs and kind of update people on what's been going on through the training. And then the final three people, um, the public actually gets to get involved mm-hmm. in the voting. So the judges have like 50 percent and then the other 50 percent comes from the public. So the idea is that, you know, there's 12 really unique businesses in Malaysia, and uh, we would love to be, you know, helping these these business owners really get uh, get their ideas out there and, and, and get some business. Um, and then obviously the we'll pick one winner. Um, and what we want to do is make sure that, you know, the 250000 goes to the idea that they had. So okay. we'll, we'll help them kind of manage that process. But the second and third prize winners, did they get anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not right now. I think uh, this, this, this is the first time we've been doing it, so we really want to focus on the winner. But of the 11 other participants, uh, Microsoft's really stepped up. Um, by offering some some free software packages, um, all of them get a Surface tablet uh, to participate in. So again, we consider, and then everyone's going through the same training. So mm. all twelve people will, you know, we would consider winners, yeah. but obviously only one of them is going to get the two hundred fifty thousand. All right. So um, the closing date is September eighteenth. So there's still an opportunity to take part in that. And so I've been speaking to uh, Steve Miller from Alliance Bank, and you know we've had you on before, and we've you know talked about this, and we've had this song played before, but I think it's appropriate now. Uh, up next, we've got the Steve Miller Band with Take the Money and Run, BFM 89.9. Thank you for listening to this podcast. To find more great interviews, go to bfm.my or find us on iTunes. BFM 89.9, the business station.